Alrighty, here's what you do. You got the Rode microphones. This is the transmitter. So this is what you're gonna connect the microphone to. And just so you know, there is a built-in microphone, so you don't need the extra microphone. That's the, the mic. Um, but the extra microphone, if you want to spend that extra $100, it definitely sounds a lot better. So here's your extra lavalier microphone. I think it's called the ME60. You plug it in here, right where that, okay, right where that little microphone icon is. Power it on. Hear your power button. To hold it down for a few seconds. It's going to turn blue. That's all you do here. So again, here's our microphone. This is the receiver, it's called. And you'll know there's a screen there. Power that on. And the receiver gives you information about the battery life of the transmitter, the battery life of the receiver, and it gives you a little sound level meter. So as you can see, I'm talking into the microphone. And this is also um, going to help you to know if you want to adjust the level of the microphone, which is here. It says dB. So if you click this, you're gonna see the kind of signal change. This is the microphone gain. So here, as I click, oops. Okay, I just made it louder and you can see that little triangle's full. This is the softest it goes, medium, loud. I'm going to guess for the pit, you're gonna probably want it the, the quietest. And this is the drawback. You really only have three levels of volume for your trombone. So you're gonna to need to play with that. Um, and then, um, what else? Oh, duh, you need to plug the cable into the receiver here, okay? And then once you charge, put this cable in, you're gonna plug this into the 3DME. So what the signal path is that the microphone's gonna pick up the sound, your trombone, God, it's not trumpet, right? I think it's trombone. It's gonna send the signal to the receiver and then you need to send the sound from the receiver to the 3DME and you do that on the side. I'm 99% sure it's the side even though I did this last night. There's also a port down at the bottom. Sorry, it's blurry. It is not that port. That is for, in the future, I believe we're going to be able to record the output of this device, but um, you plug that in here and then you'll hear whatever the microphone's picking up. Now, if you're to turn the sound of the 3D all the way off, so basically whatever these little microphones are picking up, you know how you can control the volume with the 3D? Let's just say you turn the volume totally off the volume does not affect the sound coming from the wireless microphone system. The only way you can change the volume of this, whatever your, whatever this little microphone is picking up, is through this little dB control here or moving the distance of the microphone. So if you, let's just say, um, let's just say you set it up on your neighbor's stand and you're not loud enough, you basically need to get that microphone closer to your trombone if clicking the little dB things don't do it, and vice versa if you're too loud. But hopefully this helps and I'm dying to hear how it works. Welcome, you're welcome to use tape on like any part of this system, the, the microphone or the transmitter, the receiver. Just obviously don't put tape on, don't put tape on, this part, that's the actual microphone. You don't want to cover that up, but you can put tape on any part of the wires um, or this as well. You're basically becoming a sound engineer now. Pretty cool.